Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. I have a seven card spread here for you. This is going to be about the queen, her thoughts and feelings, and just pick up her energy about the interview that um, uh, Harry and Meghan did with Oprah. And if you haven't watched my other video, I already had predicted that they would come out and speak and then it happened in Oprah's video. I had no idea that they were going to do a interview with Oprah because I made that video days before. So that that prediction came true. You can go watch that video first and then watch this one. But this is going to be about the queen and what's going to happen from this point on. Um see what energies I can pick up from her, her final thoughts and feelings, and what else is to come. Okay, so I shuffled and shuffled. I meditated for about 20 minutes, and um, these are the cards I pulled. Okay, sorry my camera's shaking. Y'all, my hand is kind of shaky. Someone tried to break into my apartment today, and it just made me very, very nervous. This is the second time. I do have security cameras up now, and I'm going to catch whoever it is that's trying to do this, okay? Today I'm drinking this drinking water. It's called drinking water. Actually, it's Coors that makes this brand. It says right there. I don't know if you can see it, Coors. But it is the best drinking water I've ever had. And they were giving it free at the library when we had the snowstorm here in Texas. And we had no water for a week. They were giving out free cases of this drinking water. And I picked up a couple of cases and I absolutely love it. It's the best water I've ever tasted. Okay, let's get started with the reading. For the first card, oh, don't forget this video is not made for kids. And if you're under the age of 18, please click off now. This channel is my brand. Do not attempt to copy it. Also, this is alleged. I have to say that because of YouTube and everything else is in the disclaimer box. Okay, let's get started. Here we have the Two of Pentacles. So I'm, right away I asked the cards, you know, how was the queen feeling about what happened? Okay, this represents a, uh, trying to gain balance, trying to keep your composure, gain balance. Here is the water in the background. It's wavy, so we all know that this is unsteady, unruly emotions turbulent times deep in thought because there's a lot of blue here represents deep in thought and here's the infinity sign which represents all the money and power they have you see how the juggler here is holding two coins which represents their kingdom their money that lasts for a long time right and there he's standing on one foot that represents trying to balance you know everything out so um, right now, she I feel like she doesn't really know what to do. I know that she is upset, even if she's saying um, she's saying that she wants to have a private conversation with them and do this in private. I feel like she she's embarrassed about it, but she's not not really going to show that because she's the queen, you know. She's got to show her power, but I also feel like she's angry at them. She might not be saying that she's angry at them. She might be saying that she's going to get down to the bottom of whoever said what to them. But I feel like she's very angry at them. I do feel like she's prejudiced because, you know, she's one of those people that come from a long time ago when there was slaves and there was a lot of prejudice. So, she, yeah, she has that in her. She might not show it, but she does have that in her. So, you know, that's one of her traits. Okay, and I'm sorry with whoever doesn't agree. That's just what the cards are telling me. Okay, so for the next one, we have the strength. So right now, she's not feeling her strength because she, she's very, very upset. And she feels like this is a huge scandal. And she also feels like they shouldn't have done what they did. They shouldn't have, um, um, you know, spoke the way they did, that they misspoke. And she's going to let them know. She's going to let them know exactly how she feels. So this is going to turn into something even bigger within the family. We probably won't see it because there will be private conversations. But I do feel like this is going to create another battle within the family. And it's just going to make more problems for them. You know, um, she feels exactly the same way as everybody else in that family. She can say that she don't or... 
you know, say that she's not worried about the color of the skin of the baby. I can't even believe someone said that to them. They were, if you haven't watched Oprah's video, I watched a four minute clip and Megan was talking about that someone had mentioned the color of the skin of the baby. They were worried at how dark it was going to be. That is so ridiculous. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, right now she's not showing her strength. She's, she's really, really upset. She's just very upset. Now here is an unexpected event. This is the tower. This is an unexpected event. So this is them that, that blew up. It was unexpected. No one knew that that Harry and uh, Meghan were going to have this interview. No one knew that they were feeling this way or, you know, that they were even upset or anything like that. So it was an unexpected event for the whole family, for that whole country. And it was like this, like a lightning bolt hit the tower. They are, were all very um, shocked, very shocked and very um, upset. And what happened? And they all feel they all they're all feeling shame, but they're not going to show that shame. They're they're feeling more angry. They're letting their anger take over, and they want to you know put it um, to rest. They want to stop this, but actually they really don't know how. Okay, they don't know how to do this. But this is an unexpected event, and there's more unexpected events coming because there's going to be a lot of movement from this day forward. Things are going to change because of um what harry and megan did which is actually a good thing um because you know in my first video i i discussed how they're not going to take this anymore anymore especially now that they have children they're not going to take this anymore they're going to fight back and fight for what rightfully is theirs and fight for their i guess i'm going to say freedom because that's the word that's coming to me freedom from from being oppressed because they're actually being oppressed by their people, you know? <laughs> yeah. So now the next one we have is the Ten of Pentacles. Now we all know this is the money card. And, and we know that this is money from generation to generation to generation. Because here's the old man, the young couple, and the children. And all this is handed down, this kingdom. Here's the kingdom in the back, the money, the inheritance. This is also the card of inheritance. Okay, so the inheritance is handed down from generation to generation to generation, just like they do. You know, they hand down the king, the queen, and their power, the positions. Okay, but it's in the reverse. So that's exactly, sorry, that's exactly what they want. They do not want to hand down the position to Harry and Meghan because, you know, she's half black and the children will be black as well. And that does not sit well with them. So, and we all heard it in Oprah's interview that, um, you know, they don't, they use another excuse of why um, the, the grandchildren wouldn't have that position. But all that's a bunch of crap, okay? It's basically because those children are, are part black and that's all there is to it. So they're trying to find a way to keep them from having those children or even Megan having any kind of um power there okay when when the rest of them are gone they don't want those children to take over and have that kind of power simply because they're black okay there's no other way around it anyone can say no it's this or no it's that and i'm sure a lot of people will but guess what no racism does exist it still exists and those people over there in that country are very racist sorry for the ones that don't believe that but they are and they don't want to give that kind of power to anyone that's black. Sorry, that's what the cards say. If you don't agree, then you don't agree. This is Megan. This is the Empress. This is the woman that sits in on the throne. Look at her crown. And she's showing her power. This woman is pregnant. Okay, this is the card of uh, fertility and abundance. So this is literally her sitting on her throne pregnant and she's showing her power now she's coming out of, of the of her of, i'm going to say her skin because she's showing her true feelings she's not going to hold back anything anymore she's not going to hold back her feelings she's going to keep speaking and show her power and she's going to also claim what's rightfully hers okay as the princess she's going to claim that she doesn't care what anybody else thinks anymore because of her children her children are actually the ones that gave her the power to move forward and to speak because she was suicidal. She was thinking about um, 
you know, maybe ending things or very depressed. Because think about it. She's in a whole other country. She's black. She is half white, but she's also considered black over there. She's not amongst her people. So she's in a whole other country. Can you imagine how that must have felt for her when they were talking about her, the color of the skin of her baby and, you know, all this other stuff. So imagine how she must have felt. She was very depressed. But now she's saying this is a brand new day and I'm coming out and I'm going to speak the truth. You see how the water is flowing towards her. So that means abundance is coming. The wheat here is growing. That means abundance is coming. The yellow represents a brand new day. She's sitting in a chair that's cloth with red cloth. So that means she's very passionate about what's coming. Okay, what's what's coming. And then her um, gown here is has got little fruit on it. So it's very fruitful. Her life is going to be very fruitful. We also see that the maiden is pregnant. And Megan is pregnant at this time. Okay, and so on and so forth. So, um, yes, this is showing, this is re really representing her power that she's coming out and she's going to speak her truth and she doesn't care who says what. Now, this is the king, of course, the king of cups. This is Harry. Again, he's going to show his power as well. Anytime you see them holding up their little, I call it a stick, but it's their little golden wand, that shows that they have power and the same here. She's holding hers here. They're showing power. And then he's also holding a cup. This cup represents a love and emotion. You know, even though he's showing his power, he's still showing a lot of love, there we go. A lot of love and emotion towards um, everything and everybody because he wants people to know that even though all this bothers him, he's still going to be the person that he, he was meant to be. See how the water, again, it's wavy. That represents turbulence. So he sits on this throne with all this turbulence around him, okay? He's in very, very deep thought, very deep thought. All this has disturbed him a lot, okay? So if you notice right here, this represents a fish around his neck. That represents Christianity and um, that he believes in God, the higher power okay so if he believes in that that means he wants to do the right thing and then the cup is offering an offering of you know love so he wants the right thing for his family and for his children he wants that throne and he wants it to be done right for his uh, family and his future you know his futures are his children now even though he sits amongst all this turbulence he's still got his feet firmly planted on the ground. That's what this represents. He's got his feet firmly planted on the ground, meaning nothing's going to shake him. At this point, moving on, nothing's going to shake him. He's going to move forward with everything he said. He's going to stand firm with everything he said, and he's going to rightfully claim what belongs to him and his children. Okay, there's going to be many talks amongst them privately, and um, I feel like a lot of them are going to um, talk to them bad, Okay, that's coming. You know, it's not over yet. It's not over by a long shot. So there's going to be a lot of arguments privately. They're going to have lots of arguments. Uh, he say, she say. Um, there's going to be a lot of people demanding them to, um, like, apologize for the statements they made or demanding them to stay quiet or demanding them to be a certain way. But guess what? That's not going to happen. Why? We have the death card here. This doesn't mean death in this, like a real death for them, but this means transformation because this card can mean two things. It means it's always an ending, right? But it can also mean a new ending because there's a new beginning. So anytime there's an ending, there's a new beginning. This is the horse meaning movement, working very hard because he's high stepping. And, excuse me. You see how he's climbing over the rubbish here, okay? So they're going to be working very hard, very hard, y'all, to transform into what they what they want the reality to be, okay? What they're saying here is that the way things were, were the way they were treated is over. It's over. They're not going to stand for it anymore, especially now that they have children. It is over. Okay, so again, the water is flowing towards the horse, ma'am, and there's a sun peeking out here. So that represents a brand new day is coming. They're bringing in the brand new day 
things are drastically going to change, you know, but uh, on the way things are done because they're not going to let up. They're not going to give up. They're going to fight for what's rightfully theirs, okay? And we're going to be hearing more stuff about it on and off, on and off. But within amongst that family, there's it's going to be a family feud, but only it's going to be done privately. So we won't hear all of it. We'll hear parts of it. But there's more coming, y'all. There's more coming that will be in the news about them, okay, and about the family. Something else is going to happen with them that will be on the news about this whole situation, okay. So just wait for that. There will be a part two to this because... <laughs> Yeah, I already know what's happening. I already know. I see what's coming. Okay, y'all. So, yeah, lots of movement coming for them. Lots of movement. They're going to claim. Again, claim. That's what this flag represents. You know when someone puts a stake in the ground, like back in the day, the people would go out in the field and put a stake in the ground and say, this is my land. Well, this is what this flag right here represents. They're putting a stake in their ground to, or, you know, in their reality. Okay, they're going to create their own reality, is what I'm hearing, because they want things to change. They're not going to back down. They're not going to back down. All right, I'm going to end it here, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the email down below, and I'll get back at you. See you next time. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.